Okay, so hey guys, today I'm coming to you from Sezivwa and it is one with nature. This is one of the falls that's not so far away from the city center. It is around 7,000 if you come here. In fact, let's round it off to 10,000 Ugandan shillings plus a border border that brings you up to here. The entrance is not right here. Uh, we still have some uh, about 500 meters to cover to go to the main entrance. So stick around. I'm going to be taking you up to the falls. Already told you. I am not alone. I've moved along with introduce your channel. Love is 256. And of course, if you're my subscriber, kindly come to the YouTube channel of Ivan at Haley. Subscribe. And you're, if you're from Ivan at Haley, kindly check check out for on my channel, Love is 256. I'll be linking her channel down in the description. Yeah. And please make sure to show her some love. It's the road to 1,000 subscribers yeah. and meanwhile we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers yeah. so hopefully guys you've had that make sure to go and show her some love yeah. do the needful and Subscribe. let's go to the main subject of the day all right i love you guys so this is how it looks like in here a lot of green the trees and yeah the sun at the moment is setting is in its time it's going to be setting very soon that's where we are right now let's go to the falls there is some distance i've told you it's around 500 meters so we are going to walk here up to the other side and there are some students that are from touring those are the ones and the buses are just right there and look at this look at the trees here so these are the things for the people around kampala and you need to do leisure yes you've gone to the beaches several times mm -hmm. This is one of those things that you need to explore. You come and check them out. Once in a while, give money to, to the people that are working around here. Anything you want to say? These things are rare. They, really, they are really rare. You can't actually see them in, in, anywhere. Only here at Ivan at Haile. And love is 256 for you. So guys, as I've told you, remember to check her out. Yeah. The trees here, the indigenous ones, and if you can, if you're keen, let's listen. Hear the falls, share the noise. Yeah, this is okay. So it has rained, that's why the road is a bit messy around here. Hopefully, they work upon that. And we are going like this. So this is where you pay your money. Entrance is five thousand. Guys, I'm here paying for. Like I'm even actually paying for everybody. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> anyway, you're doing that because uh, I'm I holding think the camera. I will return a favor one day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm kidding. Around. How much is the ticket? The ticket is just for five k. Yeah. Per head. So like now we are two. I paid ten thousand. Roughly. That is two dollars for per, per person. Yeah. No. So the tickets are there. The tickets are here. I had given them twenty thousand. This is the balance. Let me show them how the ticket looks like. Yeah. This is how the ticket looks like. So it is for two. Ten thousand. Anyway, let's go and see what is this other side. And I had to pay two tickets Yeah. So guys. So this is the first gate. This is the first gate around here. And that's how it looks like. And that is the sounds of the sound of the falls. 
Sezwa Falls was born as twins to a human mother known as Nakungu. This river offers great sports and scenery to the people that visit it and it is very important when it comes to the Buganda culture. You need to know all this information. Actually, not seen everywhere. So, guys, have this experience because you can't find these things everywhere. Look at the huge tree. Yeah. By the way, this place is for rituals, and that's why we've been given a tour guide. Of course, we are three. Someone has already gone. Yeah. So, we are going to find them. Mm. They have given us a tour guide such that yeah. they have given us a tour guide such that he takes us through. He knows where people are not busy. Yeah. We may land on two people that are doing their rituals. Oh. So this is where we are going. I'm really tired. Okay. Oh. I, I had... And if you're watching, you're new on the channel. Okay. You kindly subscribe. And you can tell a friend to tell a friend. They are really, these vlogs are really nice. I'm, and I'm going to fall. Oh my God. Oh. So look at these rocks. That is too quick. You can see the rocks. So this is how it looks like the falls the other side. You can pass the other side. You want to manage here? You're passing this side? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So this is where I'm going to pass. For the hikers, this is a mini hike. So this is where we are right now. So this is how unique the stones around here look like. So not allowed to go beyond this point and that's how huge the falls are. Don't go beyond. And that's where they start from. So this is where the water comes from and when it reaches around here it encounters a huge and steep place where it has to go over the rocks and it is during that process it produces that sound and it is very amazing and breathtaking to hear as the falls do what they do best. People are doing their things over the other side. You see some smoke from the other side. So there's some rituals going on. And I'm on top of the bridge, a simple bridge around here. And this is it. I think they pipe, they pump water from around here. That is the property of the of Ugandan government. So they pump water from around here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to ask the guide and see. Look at these rocks. So I see some things, some writings here. Sezibwa Mukono, 
Says what falls in Mukono. Anywho, that's how they are. So these are literally the sounds of Sezi what they talk about. These are the ones. Look at the waters, how they are falling down. In between rocks or in, through rocks and then down over there. I have not moved alone, I have someone over here. Yeah, this is the club guys. And today we are in Sesiwa Falls with Ivan at Maiwe. It's just a, a magnificent experience. Yes, don't forget to like this video guys. And to check out my channel also, Ancient Club. If you've not yet subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out the next video. Okay. So this is how huge they are. I get a clear view right here. So we are leaving and now we are going down, down. So we are supposed to be going down the other side and see what is happening over the other side. So let me take this route over here. Sezibwa is such a beautiful space. Very beautiful. This is Sezibwa Falls. It is yeah. one of those falls that is in the central and it is not very far from Kampala. Yeah. You only need a few points to come and check out this place. It is very amazing and it has, it has a lot of history when it comes to the Kingdom of Uganda. Sure. If you come and check them out. They are amazing and these are the sounds of Tezibwa they usually talk about. What are you waiting for? Grab that money on the weekend. Please, come and check them out. This is the beauty of Uganda they talk about. Exactly. Guys, this is the best experience ever. Like I told you, I had never gone anywhere. Waterfalls. Oh, but I'm finally done. I'm finally done. So, guys, let's let's go down and. So, this is how the waters look like around here. And by the way, this bridge carries eight people at a go. And this is the one. Nyawo, Ganamazi Gadawa, where does this water go? Hello. She's, uh, she's shy. So guys, we were given a tour guide on the entrance and he has been taking us through. I have some two questions for him and this is how they go. Yes, good evening sir. Good evening. I'm okay. I have some few questions. Maybe, is it okay if you introduce yourself? I'm Francis Mwambi, who's up as a tour guide in this area. Okay. Yeah. And my, one of my question is, how important are these falls to the Kingdom of Buganda? Actually, uh, these falls are very important to the Buganda Kingdom because we look at this place. This river is the Twin Bone River. Twin Bone River. Twin River. This yes. Is called, this was called, it's called Waswa. Waswa. Which later was named the Sez River. Okay. Uh, this place in the Uganda Kingdom, yeah. it has a significant way by. In 1884, Sekabaka Mwanga, he found this place and this family was like appointed leaders from here. Yeah. And many people could come at this family course. And even in 2002, the Kabaka Mwanga de 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 Mwanga very very important in the Uganda Kingdom. Okay. Yes. So people come here to do now. They come here for culture, they come here for baptism, they yeah. come here for they for meditation. Yeah. So the place has it as multi purpose. So we have we have, we have the culture people, we have the religious people, we have the church up there. Yeah. So people come and enjoy this place in all places. Yes, and the other thing I would like to ask, is swimming allowed here? Okay, we don't allow swimming because the place is so deep and we are not so we don't allow swimming that well. But they used to allow they used to allow, but we just bring in the water, not swimming. How about I wash up my face? Because okay, no some people believe when you 
wash your face or bathe this water. That one is a blessing. Yeah. So for come and do that, not swim. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. And hopefully this is one tell the, for the people that don't know it. How far is it from Kampala and the fees to enter here? Okay, from Kampala is around 45 minutes drive if you have your own car. 40? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. 45 kilometers yes. from Kampala to this place. Yeah. And then entrance here, if you are like um, Uganda, they pay 5,000. This is 30,000. Then the Nanu is this. The Nanu is Uganda. The two are still 20,000. 20,000. Yeah, that is some nice money. You come and explore this whole place. Are we allowed to go the other okay, side? Okay. As long as we don't go into water. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. That is the tour guide here and this is how the thing looks like. So, we have people that come here for rituals, like the, Haba, the traditionalists. We have a church somewhere up. It's an Anglican church. So, all those are happening here. You need to come and check out this place. It's a very nice one. And that's how the falls look like. And that's their sound over and they're falling into here and the water is continuous according to this man he has told us while off camera he told us that this water never decreases it just goes up and just upside this other side there is a restaurant you may think why could a place like this not have a restaurant oh it has some i don't know about lodges but it it has some um, up this other side, so let's explore and see what it has to offer. Part of the river. Look at the amazing trees around here. Look how huge this tree is. This one. And according to the tour guide, he told me that this place people come for healing. Others just wash their faces in this water and that's enough. I see some monkeys up there. See that? There are some monkeys as well. So it's a place for nature. Look. Yeah, there are some monkeys, a lot of birds. For the people that love, do bird watching or that love watching birds, this would be that other ideal place right in Uganda, not so far away from Kampala, away from Mabamba. Mabamba is, a, is, a, is an island in Lake Victoria, somewhere in Lake, around Lake Victoria. That's where you would go. It's a, sorry, it's a wetland around Victor Lake Victoria, you can go there, watch birds. And the other place I would suggest around here it is Mavira Forest. You can as well go there and watch birds. Plenty of them. So what are you waiting for? Also the shores of Lake Victoria around Kazi, Busabala, all those you can go and check them out. Everything is okay. So this is how it is. Let me show you, take you around and see what is happening around here very green and beautiful that's all i can say remember to like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications more of these videos are going to be coming because i'm just looking for money when i get money i'll be bringing out a place like this show you how it looks like i've been here in the, in, in kampala for over seven years and people have been talking about sezibwa 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 and a lot more other things but i didn't find time come and check them out but I'm now going to be bringing them because now I want to experience these things not alone but with other people out there now you are the people that I'll be exploring these things we and it's amazing at this point this is where the water is falling off all these meters down and we've been told that there is no swimming allowed here because it is very deep just right there for these other areas like here, you are allowed, you can do some simple face washing, you wash your face because we do believe that this water 
is blessing like it washes away the curses and brings blessings that's what we believe for the people that believe in nature that's what we believe anyway what do you think would you take a shower within this water around here all you wouldn't let me know what you think this is Seziwa for you that's how beautiful it is over the other side they have a garden and a restaurant up there and the sun is going to be setting very soon so if you come in the morning you have a rainbow the other side because the sun is coming from this side and the other side there is a rainbow that's how it happens it's reflected the other side anyway there is a warning you're not allowed beyond that point because it's very deep that other side So this is up the side of the restaurant, this is the other side, and there is a mini basket ball net, sorry volleyball net, a volleyball, a simple volleyball pitch. So I'm now going downwards. So that's how the falls look like. There are some trees and these trees act as homes for different animals and birds. 